Hello everyone, MG here. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are checking out Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay. <clears throat> My throat died there for a second. So we're gonna look at it and uh, talk a bit about it. Let's go. Okay, forget the hair. Why is my hair just standing like that? <laughs> That's like the Japanese macaque. Snow monkey. I think they're called snow monkeys. You'll be so. in war, benevolence and cruelty. The forest I looks. I tread my own path in this divided land. The forest looks gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie. It instantly gives me the feeling I want to walk through it. Fukuchiyama. At last. The water looks odd on the left. Oh, well, it's a work in progress. The fields are busy. A big harvest requires many hands. Why would you care about that? <laughs> okay. All right. Instantly, it's giving me Assassin's Creed Odyssey vibes. I mean, it has been made by the same studio. Ubisoft Quebec made it, so yeah. Why are they kneeling like that? I don't think people kneel like that <laughs> in the open. Mm, a merchant looks uneasy. I will not tolerate this disrespect. No, please. Wait. I just noticed it's raining and it's sunny. That's so rare. <laughs> like where I live, it's very rare in real life. Yeah, obviously he's gonna pet it. It happens in every game now. <laughs> well, you are a friendly beast, are you not? <laughs> and he just walks away. There's no Somebody interest in him. This way, I beg you. Hurry, sir. Why do the kneel like that? Right Don't do that. You, Baba, I brought someone. Ikimaru, I wonder where you went. You know, actually, I would have preferred if the game had stayed in Japanese language by default and they had like put subtitles for everything because that way the game feels more immersive. It just feels like you're promoting that culture more <laughs> if you just keep everything in Japanese by default and then people have the chance to switch to English and other languages if they want. Samurai, one that does not hail from these lands. I am a stranger, yes, but you have nothing to fear from me. Ha! I have enough to fear from the men of Kuchiyama. Okay. They abuse their power, taxing us again and again, leaving us only scraps. I bet they are in the market now, along the main road. A stranger might make good merit. Leading a village of a threat like these men. Is that so? Okay. Then I shall see it done. For this life, if not the next. That's a lot of swords he's carrying. No, that's club. Two swords and a club. A short sword, long sword, and a club. It's it's so much like Odyssey. Like It just feels like Odyssey in Japan right now. And it's still raining and it's sunny. You miserable wretch. More division among the people here. More corruption. But isn't that like real life? <laughs> Doesn't that happen even today? You really gotta delete that kneeling. That's very disrespectful for some reason. <laughs> Such beauty shadowed by suffering. Bowing, bowing, they're bowing, they're not kneeling. They're bowing to you for no reason. Okay. Cult of Cosmos or something? I told you, keep walking. 
Okay. He's gonna destroy that basket. I knew it. He was aiming for that from the very beginning. Jesus. Combat feels still like Odyssey. I mean, as a samurai, he must be hated. He caused so much destruction. Look, he's crying. His business is ruined. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. Okay, level 30. So it's like a boss battle. Oh Which my god. With your blood. You will have to spill it first. That was quick. Who do you think you are? For the people? I am justice. Okay. I'm just like thinking like if anybody's into history and knows about this kind of thing, would somebody walk like this wearing full plate armor in public? Like is it like completely unrelated as a question? Would somebody just like walk with a full plate armor and other people would be like, oh yeah, chill, great. I think they would be intimidated by him. He charged at him while screaming. <laughs> and there's one thing I noticed that I don't... Is that hip-hop music? <laughs> they actually put hip-hop music. Oh my god, there's hip-hop music in the background. A few moments later. Oh my god, I needed to like take a break here mentally. I I couldn't stop laughing. I had to. I had to. Okay, let's carry on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna ignore that part. Let's move on. Where were we? Yeah, here. I was going to handle this. <laughs> Too slow. What did you find? A samurai has been stealing from the villagers. He has been starving the people here for some time. So now we know who he worked for. A daimyo in Fukuchiyama Castle. We should go. Not before we send our allies to look for him. Okay. He'll be difficult to find. Wait. That's a map. Uh, scout. What is scout? Scan. I'm assuming there. There is no tabs he's switching to. I mean, it's a work in progress. I was like, what else is there? But that's one one. Why did they put hip hop music there? I don't understand. Why? The Why would he put hip hop music there? He's there. Who will take the lead? We can sneak in. Or charge through the front gate. It's almost dark. I actually would prefer no playing as Yasuke. <laughs> I would look chance. Uh, just for the music, I would I still play as him. Oh Don't my worry. god. I won't be alone. Oh my god, this It'll is actually. I am 
freaking like oh my god in the shadows that's crazy so light that's so cringe <laughs> i'll go straight for the daimyo oh. when fighting a snake why wrestle the body when you can slice off the head okay a look at the sneak mechanics nice she has like sort of survival instinct or something oh I like that. Is there no music? I expect that. This is what I expect from sneaking. You're mine now, snake. Oh, where's the snake? <gasps> Who did that? He's seeing him. At that range, anybody's seeing anyone. Come on. Oh, Spider-Man. The enemy seemed like dumb. I hope that is not the case in the release style. A grave, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Oh my god. Woman on woman violence. I noticed something. Wait, what was that? In the floor. Like, what just happened? The floor had a weird... What is that? Over there. And it just disappears. Oh, it disappeared. I don't know. Maybe it was something relating to... Uh, the weather? Jeez. Can people die if you stab them instantly they die like without making a sound? I don't think so. I could be wrong. He's coming. I need to hide. Oh my god. I'm just gonna say this now. It might be controversial, but I'm gonna say this. If she was the protagonist, I would 100% play as her. Like, if she was the only protagonist, because she has exactly what I want from an Assassin's Creed game. Stealth. I don't want anything more. I want, like, an open world with an Assassin character, and she's exactly that. First, like this is how I want to play this game. I mean, it's in the title, Assassin's Creed. Yet they're they're not really letting you play as an assassin all the way in, like full on role play. You, you end up playing like Viking hack and slash sort of thing, and they still kept it in there. I would prefer if they fully go down this assassin route, and you know they nail it. With her, they have come very close. And then you serve me scalding tea. Besides ruining its delicate flavor, I nearly lose my tongue for business. Fujioka must have been the samurai Yasuke took out. Good riddance. A daimyo like that deserves a slower death than the one I'm about to give him. 
How did the rain increase like in such a short span of time? But we move on. That is sick. I'm not gonna lie. That is sick. <laughs> I'm telling you this. Guys, people are gonna come up with the maddest things by just this. You can stay underwater and you can breathe underwater. People are gonna do the craziest shit with this. 100%. Oh. Oh. I thought you would drag him. Okay. Why are they not attacking? Why are they not attacking? I've shed all the blood I need. Time to go. Okay. What is the escape gonna be like? I like the rain effects. Also, one massive thing I'm seeing, the lighting is like very different. Very good. Seasons. They didn't show the seasons, right? But it's really, really beautiful. being allies then. It does look great. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really good. Uh, the question is, is it worth uh, $120? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Also, the hip-hop thing might be uh, quite controversial. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I don't think I'm wrong about that. That is quite controversial. Why did he do that? <laughs> is it worth 120? No, it's still not worth it. But, you know, there is no pricing on game regulations and they go crazy with it. It's something that I've thought about a lot as well. As a gaming company, your priority, is it to create a good product or is it a product that makes you the most money? I think it's most likely the product that makes you the most money. You're gonna choose that over anything. And they've done that, so great job. So here we are at standard edition, 16.99. 110 129 and deceptively you have the day one with ubisoft pass it gives you like a feeling like oh it's the cheapest it's not it's just for a month so if you don't renew it the game is gone <laughs> and other pc games they really want you to buy this this or this they don't want you to buy this okay they want you to buy the more the thing that makes them the most money. You have to understand, three day early access. Here you have the ultimate pack and just because of the ultimate pack, the price goes up by $20. Here, because the game is, you're getting it, what is the thing, like uh, three days early? They're charging you 40 more. Uh. As I said before, there is no regulation on gaming prices. That's why they go, like you have that retail price, there's a max retail price companies can sell things on. Gaming doesn't have anything like that. They can just, they set prices without caring about you. They just put up the price and think about how much money they're gonna earn. For them, getting those numbers up is the biggest win. And they're only gonna get those numbers up if they sell it at high prices. They don't care whether you can make that money for them or not. They just want that money. Case closed. And the fact is, can you pre-order this from Steam? I actually don't know that, let me check. Okay, you can't pre-order this game from Steam. You know, that's actually a very good sign because that means you should pre-order this. If something goes wrong, you have you you basically have to go to Ubisoft and rely on them that they're gonna be kind to you. So definitely not gonna do that. You know, there's a huge discussion on the, uh, what is it? Like the protagonist being a black samurai, but I don't think that's a bigger problem. The biggest problem is this. 
this is the believe it or not these prices are like the biggest problem even like 70 is too much believe it or not it's too much it's way too much and they go to these points 130 i just don't understand like what goes on through there they go like oh 110 really that's a great point great job man <laughs> this is like oh you understand why they go for microtransaction because with microtransactions they get the gaming whales as we call them those guys are willing to spend not these 120 those guys are willing to spend like hundreds and hundreds and thousand dollars some even millions you understand the kind of money they make from like a game sale is nothing compared to what a gaming whale is gonna pay like that is nothing they much rather make a game for one person who is willing to pay the millions of dollars than the one person who is gonna buy it at hundred dollars <laughs> so yeah it's just that their mind is kind of messed up and we have gotten used to this this is the biggest problem this should be talked about more than the protagonist this is worse okay anyways if you like that remember to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time till then take care of yourself goodbye